This is Twit. I've been hoping an earthquake would, would hit, to be honest. <sighs> Well, if, right now. If suddenly, because I've got it right here, Quake Alert 2, if suddenly I leap under the table, my suggestion would be follow me because I've got early <laughs> warning. Joining us right now via uh, Skype, Josh Basham. He's the founder of Early Warning Labs. Hi, Josh. Hey, guys. Now, this is I'm, I'm guessing from the name Quake Alert 2 that this is not your first app. No, no. This is uh, this is the second iteration, actually. So what's new? Have, what's different between first. this and your first Quake Alert? better okay uh, that's good <laughs> <laughs> that's oh bravo <laughs> it, it's, it's new and improved all right good new and improved new yeah and no improved. We, we made some privacy changes uh we allowed people to have a little bit more um uh, ability to be able to select a static address or allow us to do the location services so we thought that was going to be an important update for people if people want to go to the website earlywarninglabs.com that's where this comes from right early warning labs yeah, yeah. So we have a, a wait list there that people can sign up um, or people can actually download it and enter their email there to get on that uh, early access. Uh, and your list. business at Early Warning Labs is actually selling this information to companies, kind of early warning, because companies need, you know, if they can, even 30 seconds is going to make a big difference, right? Yeah, yeah. So working with people like LA Metro, right? So we mm. actually connect uh, our hardware solution into their PA system in the operations center. Oh, wow. So when there is a big earthquake, it'll actually notify the, uh, the operators and they'll slow and stop all the trains, all 100 trains here in LA, which and is huge. That was vital and in the huge. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that was vital in the 2011 earthquakes. They managed to get all their trains stopped because they had this 30 second warning. Uh, so, so the actual li really limited the number of deaths. Now, th this is an earthquake prediction. Correct. Yep. It's That's, not. It's not prediction. We still can't predict earthquakes. Uh, it's simply early detection. Okay. But you do get a significant time period before the earthquake hits. How do, how exactly does that work? Yeah. Yeah. So, it, like you said, detecting the P waves. So, what's nice is the P waves are emanated out of the earthquake uh, faster than the S waves, and the S waves are the ones that really cause most of the damage. Uh, those are traveling roughly at the uh, speed of sound. So if we can theoretically detect those at the speed of light, right, with the sensor network and the high-speed telemetry, we can actually send those alerts ahead of the earthquake faster than those, those S waves are propagating. That's where we get that, that big chunk of, uh, of warning time. Now, I set my Quake Alert 2 to have my location, but I also turn on location change. So as I travel around California, about what we should point out, this is what, California, Oregon, what areas of the country do you cover right now? Yeah, so the ideal sensor density uh, has been reached in um, Southern California and up in, in NorCal as well. Okay. Uh, but we also have coverage in Washington and Oregon. Okay. Um, they have a lot less sensors than we do down here in California, but they're working really hard uh, to, to increase that number of sensors right now. And who runs those sensors? Is that the U.S. Geological Survey? Yeah, so that's our that's our official partner, the uh, USGS. Okay. Okay, it's interesting because I, I was in my very first earthquake after coming here wasn't in California. It was on the East Coast with the Virginia quake, and we knew about it before the earthquake actually hit because people's Twitter was going earthquake, and then all of a sudden it started shaking. <laughs> so it's that speed of light versus speed of sound. <laughs> those those are those are the S waves, exactly. though. So as the as the earthquake hits close to the epicenter, the center of the earthquake, those people tweeted, and the yeah. tweet spread faster than the S waves spread through the ground to you. But this is even faster than that. It sounds yeah. like. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So top end, you know, best case scenario, we can do 90 seconds. Really? Here in California. Um, but you know, that's it's gonna be a very, very rare instance. Realistically, you know, it's in the lower, you know, teens, maybe 20, 30 seconds. And there is some latency in the phone itself, isn't there? I mean, it's gonna mm -hmm. take a while once you get that signal to send it out through the internet and then have the phone respond. Yeah. So there's challenges. There's you know, there's a lot of challenges with the mobile alerting. Um, the the app that we have is free. It's a best effort solution. That's why you know having a solution like like our commercial solution that connects to the fire alarms and plays the uh, alerts. That's a little entire faster. Building, Got it. Yeah. It is is just way more reliable because sure. certain certain things like WIA right or the Amber Alert system mm. they measure their delivery times in minutes, if not tens of minutes, and it's just too slow. So <laughs> the best thing we can do is use the uh, the push notification. Uh, option for mobile apps, but still, there's there's issues with that. As your well. timing, your timing was good though. Here's a tweet: There were people in the earthquake that just happened a couple of days ago in Southern California, who had your app, and knew ahead of time, so it did work. 
It worked. Yes, it worked. Now, Yay! There's, an aster- <laughs> there's an asterisk to that, though. Because of those <laughs> privacy changes, um, th- this instance here that you're showing, actually, um, it had only when I used the app or when we could actually locate the user. So it hadn't been open for a long time, as an earthquake early warning app hopefully isn't used very much, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, We didn't know exactly where that user was. So they actually got an alert based off of their previous location. It was immediately when they opened the app, it was updated. Uh, But they would have had a little bit less than than the warning time that was shown. So I've turned on always uh, show my location. Is that going to kill my battery? It shouldn't. Okay. And then I turn on, just because it's interesting, I want to know every every, every earthquake uh, that happens. And, and I apologize in advance for when we wake you up at 2 in the morning after a long day. Of drinking. <laughs> <laughs> There's an earthquake 180 miles away. Well, also, I mean, you're close to Geezerville, so, I mean, that place has, like, 10 quakes a day. Sorry, you know, Geezerville, Okay, I'm you 61, but I wouldn't call myself close to Geezerville. <laughs> Would you mind? Okay, Geezerville. Wait till you're my age. In this country, but, you know. Geyserville, yeah. Because Geyserville... It it's tells you yeah. it's got ther- it's got uh, thermal uh, geysers. That means there's probably earthquake activity. Oh, in if that you look area. on the USGS map, then it's just like spots of spots of earthquakes yeah. all yeah. over the place. We are in earthquake country. country. There, to be now I can simulate. In fact, I'll do that right now. An arriving earthquake, so people will see yeah. what Ooh, would happen. Change, change, take it from weak to extreme. If you click weak, yeah, violent. Oh, really? Yes. What's going to happen? Oh my God! All right, start the simulation. Are you ready? Yes. Ah, drop and cover, drop, hold on, ah! Um, okay, that's not too bad. I think I have the sound turned off. Would I yeah. be hearing a big, loud... Uh, I look at this desk and I think it's... Ah, <laughs> it's real! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do that again with the sound uh, The sound turned up. Because is there? Would there be an alert as well? Yeah, so yeah. what's... This cool is a test. Oh, Earthquake, violent shaking. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> grief. Can you imagine just being falling off to sleep generally at about midnight and then that goes off and it's like, ah, crap, crap. <laughs> now in Geezerville for sure. <laughs> wow, that's that's cool. So you're telling me if I leave this on that I'm just going to hear this kind of stuff. <laughs> All right, I get it now why I might not want to have that on at night. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Maybe I would because it might give me the chance, just a few scant you, seconds hey, listen, to get to gives safety. You enough time to get under something sturdy, then, you yeah. Know. Well, I we'll, often we'll, at night we'll allow users to, yeah. to change that threshold okay. uh, in, in the next release that we release this summer. So you know, people can actually have have it on and not worry that something silly is going to wake them up in the in the middle of the night. Right. Well, as you could see, because I had my uh, notification set off, I did not hear anything, so that wasn't that wasn't too bad. Uh, you can change the event ordering by date of event, by distance from epicenter, by magnitude, power, by shaking intensity felt. Uh, we got a. You can have a topographic map. This is really uh, nice for free, especially uh, a nicely done app. And actually, one of the things I really like about this is how what to do preparing for an earthquake and this is valuable information now, i understand that this you know earthquake is something unique to certain areas of the well, no, because uh, i learned something we were discussing earlier because my understanding when i first came over here everyone said was if there's an earthquake get into a doorway we don't do that anymore actually, but yeah. apparently this is not not the case nope. anymore no nope. drop cover and hold on the best yeah. thing you can do it can that's the new thing yeah. prevent roughly half the injuries if you yeah. do that oh yeah. wow okay so this is really cool, and it's and 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 actually even just for letting me know about earthquakes around In the area, yeah. I, I and we do live, as you can see, this is just a few days worth of activity. We do live in an area where there's a, a quite a bit of activity. Uh, we have a fault that goes right through uh, Petaluma. Mm. Um, so all right, good. Well, tra- when I came over, I mean, I've always been told that pets are very good at sensing earthquakes. And then when I was actually awake for the Napa one at about two thirty in the morning or something. And before it happened, the cat just sat there looking bored, licking itself. And then while it was going on, the cat just looked bored and licked itself and didn't run around. It was like, you're useless, boo. This is not good. You know? it's just, I like the idea of this app a lot better. The last, the last earthquake we had here that I felt, uh, I was the only one in the family who felt it. I jumped, leapt out of bed and ran around in a circle going, earthquake, earthquake, earthquake. <laughs> but that really wasn't useful. So I'm going to have to, maybe we have some rehearsals. Some well, I keep well, your dad was a geologist, right? Yeah, my dad uh, knows all about this stuff. How did you know that? That's exactly right. Um, so I should be a little bit better prepared. We scraped your Facebook feed. <laughs> <laughs> too soon, mate. Too soon. You know? <laughs> so you're planning to make this public soon? 
uh, yeah, we're we're hoping to get the final approvals for this uh, this to be released uh, this summer. Is that Apple or the Ge Geological Survey, or who who is it that has to give you approval? So we're we're coordinating with both the uh, the USGS along with the uh, state and local as okay. well. Okay, and are you going to be extending this to Android as well as iOS? Yes, marvelous. That's because uh, that's you know we need. The la I presume this works best when you've got the largest number of phones on it all detecting. Because presumably you get oh, you don't use. Well. Do you use phone data as well? So actually, you know, we we don't use the oh. uh, uh, the sensor data from the phone. Although Berkeley, uh, UC Berkeley, was working on a really cool uh, product. It was either uh, MyShake or um, <laughs> I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but they were actually using uh, Android phones and using sensor in there to yeah. to detect earthquakes. I and this think was I tried that one and it did kill your battery life because it was all yeah. the sensors had to be on all the time. But my, my said either there's an earthquake happening or you're having a really good time right now. <laughs> All right. I don't think the phone sensors are going to work as well uh, as the P sensors. No, no, I would rather have the P sensors, to be yeah, quite frank, because yeah. you want that early warning. It can make all the difference, just getting enough time. Josh, to... can people apl apply to get this early? Uh, I got it early because we know somebody, you. <laughs> but is, can, can people apply to get this early now on the website, or is there any way to get yeah. involved? Yeah, they can either sign up on the website, or they can actually download the app and, and plug their uh, Ask for email it. Okay. And are you giving out uh, invites now, or, or is that... Uh, is that so we're not doing that now, but the people that actually sign up uh, will be the first ones first invited to use it. Nice. Excellent. Really cool. Uh, earlywarninglabs.com if you want to know more about the service that they provide people like the you know, LA Metro. And uh, if you want to get the app, you can get it there or just search for Quake Alert 2. One word, Quake Alert, II for 2 on the App Store. I found it right away using that. The App Store is always a little flaky finding things, but maybe it's easier to go from the website. Mm. Uh, and then Android folks, you're going to be able to get it in a few months. Thank you, Josh. Yeah. This Thanks is really stuff. cool. I hope we have an earthquake. Well, I don't really. Just don't, don't push it, mate. Seriously. But it was so no. cool to know before anybody else, I could say, I bet we're going to have an earthquake. How much? You want to bet $10? <laughs> $10. We're going to have an earthquake. Did, did, I was thinking, yes, no, grab the wife and cat and get into the bed. No, no, no it's, let's have a bet on I've this. been living in California <laughs> for too long to worry about earthquakes. Thank you, Josh. I appreciate it. Thank Cheers, you, guys. Mate. Josh Basham, founder of Early Warning Labs at earlywarninglabs.com.